Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you own a card like the GT1030 here, then I don't have to tell you that it can struggle quite a bit with modern games. When it came out it was ideal for those on a tight budget and I'm sure it has helped transform thousands of basic home computers into more capable gaming setups over the last few years. These days I find myself turning the visual quality settings and resolution right down in most titles that I test with this card and that's fine, it's what I expect to have to do. This was an entry level option in 2017 and nothing's changed in that regard. Everything I've said so far doesn't just apply to the 1030 nor Nvidia GPUs in general, nor does it necessarily apply to entry level hardware exclusively. Totally minimising game settings isn't a precautionary step needed with the GTX 1070 or RTX 2060 just to name a couple as an example, not at this point in time anyway, though said cards will certainly benefit from features like FSR and DLSS, which could most definitely help with maintaining over 60 FPS with higher in-game quality presets. I particularly like the implementation of FSR in Far Cry 6, which without a doubt helps the aforementioned lower end 1030 maintain some of its dignity. I also enjoy being able to crank Cyberpunk 2077 settings up to maximum with the mid-range 3050 and letting DLSS take care of the more significant performance dips. Having tested both of these features on a few occasions on the channel, I want to turn my attention to another potentially essential feature in today's video, one that could be ideal for those of you with an older Nvidia card. If your graphics card supports driver 496.76 or later, then you can make use of Nvidia image scaling. Considering popular GPUs like the 750 Ti, 1050 Ti, 1060 as well as our 1030 here are all compatible with this driver, this could help a lot of people squeeze every last drop of performance out of their beloved hardware. By enabling NIS in the NVIDIA control panel, additional scaling resolutions are generated and made ready for use from within games. For example, in The Witcher 3, we can now choose 1477 by 831 which is 77% of 1080p. The game will then be upscaled to the 1920x1080 resolution of the display and sharpened based on user preference. This means that we can enjoy the additional eye-pleasing graphical features while maintaining a sharper image. Don't get me wrong, you might prefer to turn the game down to a lower native resolution or to opt for lower settings in an attempt to get as much above 30 FPS as possible. Maybe both. That's fine, choice and customization are just two of the many reasons that make PC gaming great, and NIS gives you exactly that, another choice. Another favourite game of mine that doesn't run all that well on the 1030 is Mafia Definitive Edition. At 1080p with the lowest in-game settings, it's not often we'll see 30 FPS, if at all. The game usually sits at less than 25. It's not totally unplayable, if like me you're used to chuggier frame rates because you've held onto that trusty old graphics card for longer than you probably should have, but it's not ideal. Now we could drop the resolution here to a native 900p, which would still mean less than 30 FPS, or we could go to 720p which would help us hit that as an average, but the image quality would really suffer a bit as a result. I've played this at 720p though, and to be honest it's still a pretty good looking game even when in combination with the low settings. Again though, if we choose 77% of 1080p with Nvidia image scaling and then choose 25% sharpness, we get an end result that looks good but gives us a nice little performance boost. We could go even lower resolution wise, but I think 30fps is a reasonable target for the 1030 and one that I'm pretty happy with. It's all down to personal preference. Now I think NIS is certainly something I'll be making use of in future videos that feature more entry level graphics cards, just like when we used FSR to help out the Athlon 3000G in the Far Cry 6 with no graphics card video. I'll keep it brief for this one because we'll be looking more in depth at the 1030's modern capabilities in another video, but to finalise, I fired up San Andreas The Definitive Edition. 
Just like in The Witcher 3 here, there is potential to lower the settings a bit, but I decided to keep a couple of things turned up, things that really aid in the overall presentation of this one. Shadows are set to medium, textures are set to high, and the view distance is set to far. We averaged just under 45 FPS at native 1080p with these settings, which isn't too bad. Now if we switch to the NIS footage, you might notice that the average frame rate increase isn't as significant this time around, but the improved 1% low made things feel quite a bit smoother, especially as I drove through busier parts of town. I've run all of today's tested games at 25% sharpness on top of the upscaling, but this may need to be adjusted depending on the title. It probably could have been increased a bit for Mafia, but here it looks just about right. To conclude, I think Nvidia Image Scaling or NIS is definitely worth trying out before lowering your settings or in-game resolution. Whether you've got a 1030 that can't quite manage smooth 1080p gaming, or a GTX 1070 that can't quite handle 4K, this is a feature that might just come in handy. Thank you very much for watching then, if you enjoyed this one leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, let me know what you think of Nvidia. NIS or NVIDIA image scaling in the comments section below because I think it's a feature that could really benefit a lot of people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.